All right, guys, how's it going? So, I first of all, I wanted to do this video now because one, I wanted to, while, while I'm still remembering it, and two, because tomorrow I'm probably gonna feel sick because I got shots today. So, I figured I might as well do this video while I'm still feeling good. Um, so I just saw the FNAF movie. It's another movie review. I know, I don't know if any of you like these videos, but I mean, it's just, I feel like I should review them, you know, at least maybe some of you watch my videos and then you're like, oh, okay, and depict if you want to see it or not. So I will say, I, I, I know the littlest about Five Nights at Freddy's. You know, I know they have the four main ones. I know, I know vividly they have other ones. The only game I've ever played by them is Security Breach, and that's as far as I got with that. I didn't play any of the originals. You know, I kind of skipped over that whole phase when everybody was all crazy for the apps and stuff. I never, I never really was crazy about it. But um, it was a pretty good movie. Is it was a little bit like slow in a way because you know the first movie, you know, they're trying to give information, you know, more to the story. Uh, there were action scenes in it. Love that, you know, if it didn't have any action scenes, I would have been like, Ooh. but, you know, if a movie has action scenes, good enough. So, the whole point of the movie, it's, it's basically like if you're playing the game, the security guard, Mike, and let's hope I remember these names, because I might not. But we have Mike, and then he has his sister, Abby, and he loses his brother that's named Garrett, and... Throughout the whole movie, you see him in, in the dream sequences, you know, and he tries to figure out who took his brother and all that. So the whole point of the movie is basically, well, for him, he's trying to figure out who took his brother. Because um, he's struggling with the loss. And keep in mind, they don't have their parents either. Their parents uh, gone, you know, it was only the, the two of them. So um, uh, besides them, there actually was the, the aunt. But she was an asshole. Didn't didn't like didn't like her. Um, yeah, basically she was trying to get custody of Abby. Um, Mike couldn't keep a job, so the last resort was uh, Fazbear's Pizzeria. And you meet Vanessa. That's that's another character I I learned through Security Breach. Um. So not too many characters in this movie, obviously because. Just starting it off, you know, there might be another movie, who knows. But you got the four main ones. I don't even think I need to say their names. You, If you know FNAF, you know the four names. I'm screwed. I'm just going to say it anyways. Freddy, Foxy, Bonnie, and Chica. And let me say, they did look great. They looked great. I don't know how they were able to build them or what they did for the movie, but amazing. They did great. And you have the Cupcake. Is it's only animatronic too, so I guess that's technically five, and then the sixth one would be Spring Trap, I want to call them. I hope I got that right. I probably didn't, but um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say that was. Uh, but he gets revealed at the end. You know, basically, the the main four they want to take Abby, uh, and make her into animatronic. You know, and throughout the movie, you sort of the other antagonists, the the people that wanted to screw with Mike's life, that you see them dead and put inside these robots. So, or animatronics, I'm sorry. Someone's going to kill me for it if I say robots. But, um... God, I'm trying to pack everything together. I'm, I'm getting lost myself here, but... Um, eventually, of course, you, you meet the main person that's controlling all of them, Springtrap, or... I, I just had his name in my head two seconds ago. But, um, basically, how do I say it? It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. They had a whole scene where he was tasing. Mike was tasing the, the four of them. And I thought that was it. I thought they were going to knock out and that was it and they weren't going to come back. When that man, Spring, we're going to call him Spring Shack for now because I'm, I'm not going to remember the name. Maybe I will. But Spring Trap, my lord, that motherfucker, he's it. He, he did that. He was like, come on, children. And they all got up. How the hell is that possible? I'll tell you what. You go outside in the street in, in the street, and you taste somebody, they're not getting up. Unless they're really tough with it. But um, 
yeah, that was a crazy scene for me. Um, eventually, you know, Vanessa, uh, she didn't want to be there, but she, she goes and helps anyways. And it turns out Springtrap is Vanessa's father. And you, and the twist is the father is the person that hired Mike in the first place to be in that job. So, you know, I, if it sounds confusing, I, listen, I'm not the biggest fan of FNAF. I can't explain it perfectly like anybody else would. But, um, yeah, eventually he gets locked in the suit. You know, Abby tells the main four that, um, he was the one that killed them as, as they were children. And that's why their ghosts are in those machines now or animatronic. I'm, again, I'm sorry. They're in the animatronics. Um, and basically they turn on him or I shouldn't say him. They turn on Springtrap. And the dude gets gets locked in the suit and they pull him off. They drag him off and that's it. I will say another cool thing in the movie, um, Corey Kenshin. I you know, I'm not a I'm not a biggest fan of him. You know, I didn't I never watched his videos too much unless he was with like Dashi. It was great to see him in the movie. I thought he had some pretty funny scenes. They had an end credit where the little balloon boy scares him in the taxi. So that was really cool. Um, I, I, I didn't, I didn't even remember Bloom Boy to the end, but, um, yeah, I thought it was a great movie. I definitely recommend go, going to see it. Even if you're not a fan of FNAF, you know, you might have a kid that wants to see it. Who, who knows? But, um, definitely uh, 10 out of 10 in my books. I, I, I think there, there wasn't anything that could have made it better. You know, the end, the end credits, they even played the original FNAF song. So that was cool. But yeah, other than that definitely go see the movie give it a try and i'll see you guys in my next video